What's up, YouTube? This is Detroit John. We're back here with another episode of John Talks. Before I get into it, if you could like, comment, and subscribe, do not forget to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's get straight into it. I don't think Okafor should be playing. I don't think he should be on the court. I took a look at the stats, guys. For the past five seasons, this guy has not, he's pretty much averaged six points and he's trending downwards. He has not been able to get to, to get back to the 17 point per game score that he was in his rookie year. Literally, he's gone from 17 points to 15 to 12 to the next six or seven seasons below seven points. He is not a good productive player. He should not be starting over I, even Isaiah Stewart. I think we look weak down there with Plumlee and Okafor, and I think we need to bolster that, okay? So let's give Isaiah Stewart a chance. Let's see what he can do at least, because guess what? Okafor is not going to be the guy. He is not going to be the guy to give you 12, 10 a night with 10 rebounds. He doesn't play defense at all, and we're going to need a defensive anchor down there to really support us. The next thing I want to say is I love Svi Mahailu. I think he's a good player, but I do not know if he's going to be this hot all year. And guys, he is not a three-level scorer, and he's not going to put up more than 12 to 15 points a game. If that, that would be like his best potential. Sadiq Bey has 20 point per game potential. Sadiq Bey could be a 20 point per game scorer. Sadiq Bey is a three level scorer right now. Sadiq Bey should not be on the bench at all, especially with Wayne Ellington and Sfi Mahalu in the game. I will say this, Sfi Mahalu has been hot. And as long as he is hot, he should be on the court and he should and he should get his time. But guess what? Also, he's a three point. He's a three point shooter. That's what he is. He's not a slasher. OK, he's not a, a, a defensive changer and he is not a three level scorer. And he's not going to be giving you 20 points a night like you need. I'm not saying Sadiq Bey is either, but he has the potential to. And you don't know if he could or not. So just put him in the game and let's see. Second. There is no reason why Wayne Smellington should be in the game and Sadiq Bey is on the bench, man. With a backup and this depth of team that we have at the at the small forward position and at the shooting guard position, there's only so many players. Wayne Ellington does not fit. He does not fit. I love Spi Mahalu, but Spi Mahalu can come off the he can come off the bench and shoot. That's the beautiful part about three point shooters. You don't need to start them. They can do what they do at any position. They are shooters. They space the floor. I want to see Sadiq Bey get time. I want to see him start. I don't ever want to see Wayne Smellington on the court um, when Sadiq Bey is on the bench, man. It shouldn't happen. And I like Speed Mahalu. I think he should play. I just don't think he should start over, um, over Sadiq Bey. So just before I go, I just wanted to reiterate, man, that we need a lot of changes on this team, man. I think we need a lot of changes to the starting lineup. I think the final lineup should be Killian Hayes, Sadiq Bey, Seiko Demboya, Jeremy Grant, and Blake Griffin, okay? I know to some of you that might be like, whoa, but I just think, guess what? That's the best talents that we have on our team. That's who should be starting. Why not? Put the best players out there. Put the youngest players out there. You guys know my motto. So my final prediction is that the Pistons sneak into the playoffs with the eighth seed. They get around 30 wins. And the team really surprises the whole world, man. I think Blake Griffin is going to find his groove. I think Derrick Rose once again is going to find his groove. I think Killian, mark this guys, Killian and Sadiq Bey will be in the running for Rookie of the Year. Both of them. That's right. Both of them. I think Sadiq Bey will eventually find his footing because you can't have Wayne Smellington in there. And I don't think Sfima Hailu will be able to, you know, score at the pace that he's doing right now the whole season i don't think you're going to be able to justify starting him the whole season and i think sadiq bay is he, eventually he's either either going to have to be six men straight off the bench or he's going to have to be um starting so we're going to see how that turns out but like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think of my review my predictions and just my overall thoughts um and i'm going to be covering this whole season so i can't wait to see you guys thank you guys